It's key. Now, the, uh, sorry, yet again, yes. I'm so, uh, luckily you're familiar enough with uh, our patients mm, here, yeah. so you know the way it is. Uh, Mr. Demola in Ikeja. Good morning, sir. Thank you for holding on. Ademola, did you hear me? Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you for calling uh, in. Good morning. Good morning to Dr. Yusuf. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Yusuf, I really appreciate your contribution. And I pray that Almighty God will continue to enlighten and broaden your knowledge. Sir, there's something I that is giving me concern. And the first one is this. If you go to market, for instance, now, someone that went to market to buy a bag of rice, for certain price, and come this week, December of price, the price has increased. I notice that price is increasing every day. My question is, this, Dr. Isu, what can we do, what can government do to tell the persistent increase in the food item in the market? That's number one. My second question is, this, Dr. Dr. Isu, is it possible for government to refer back to this subsidy? to cancel the subsidy that was removed? Is it possible for, for government to go back again to issue of this subsidy? Because I know that this subsidy is causing a serious problem. Then the third one is the issue of this ban here. For instance, now, I have a company that I do buy product from them. About two months ago, they said they used to pay $60 million for electricity <laughs> every month. Now, since the company has joined banding, they are now paying 180 million every month. How do you want that company to survive? That is my question, Dr. Isu. Thank you so, so much. You are blessed. Thank you very much, Mr. Timola, for, <laughs> for those questions. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's uh, part of what we have been discussing, actually. Food price can only be improved if we improve supply of food. And the supply of food can only uh, improve through increased local production, which is what I was you know, discussing about what the government is doing in conjunction with the subnationals. Because the president has said that he was ready to give every support. And we are seeing some initiatives with some states. You know, unfortunately, we are in the planting season now. We are not close to harvest yet. So those initiatives are ongoing. That is one. The second is to use the approach of trade policy to liberalize to some extent imports of some critical items. I've heard some people saying that government has said they should be importing rice. I don't think that is correct. What the government said, I think, is the liberalization for six months of importation of husk, husk rice, husk brown rice, which is like paddy rice, yeah. which is what you buy and you process locally. Yeah. Because I've seen some argument that we want to cripple those who have invested in a rice meal and all of that. Mm -hmm. What the government is saying is that this paddy rice, because we are short of paddy rice. Many of the rice mills across the country, they don't have paddy to process. Lagos State has the biggest rice mill in, in West Africa sub-region. There is no rice paddy. So imagine if you have a window at least to import this rice paddy, and allow the rice mill in, uh, in mortar to produce. Mm. That meal is enough to take care of at least the entire w w w Western Nigeria, if not the whole country. Because that, that, that seemed know? to hold promise earlier. It was yes. That Lagos State meal that you're talking yes. about. Yes. Especially as it collaborated with, uh, I think, a rice Ke producing. Yes, states, yeah. Kebi and Gombe and all of that. But if you don't have the raw materials, what are you going to do with the meal? Let so me. the whole idea of what the government is trying to do from the trade policy side mm -hmm. is to allow some of these raw materials to come in for local processors to be able to process without necessarily hurting the domestic producers. Government is talking about guaranteed minimum price for those who are producing locally. So that it's not because we are having some uh, imported raw material you will not be able to sell. If there is a guaranteed minimum price, if you are not able to sell, government will buy it off you. So it's a win-win situation but because yeah. we are dealing with an emergency situation which requires an emergency response. It really does. Which is why the government is taking this, this, this other option. You know, Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Adimola, he also, there are some other aspects he talked about. He was talking about whether we can reverse the subsidy. So that is a very difficult thing. Because the subsidy regime was making the economy to bleed profusely. Yeah. 
if you had continued on that trajectory, the whole system would have collapsed. So it's inevitable. Mm. What we can do is to support more of domestic refining of petroleum products. Okay, let me bring in uh, Mazi Okora. For you've held on for quite a while. Good morning to you, Mazi. Uh, thank you very much for holding on. Go ahead. Good morning, Sayori. Good morning, Akesh. Good morning. Sayori, you see, the issue for us to move forward, you see, 